we have an example where we have a system that is not moving. So this is all about equilibrium. In the earlier questions that we did in this worksheet, that was all involving objects that were actually moving. These objects are not moving, and so remember we should always look out for the triangle when doing a construction. So, step one, we take this drawing that they've given us and we try simplify it. Okay, so we're not using a ruler and a protractor now, we're just trying to make a little sketch. So, we know that the center of this question is over here. So we make a little dot and we ask ourselves, what forces are acting on that? Well, there's W3, which is gravity, so that would act down. So I just go down like that. W2 is going to be a pulling force like that. So I'm going to go W2, and the angle is very easy, 50 degrees. Then W1 is going to be a pulling force going like that. And the angle is 24 degrees. Oh, and I should label this as W3. Now they've told us that W1 is 50 newtons. Now some of you might be like, yeah, but Kevin, W1 is here. But remember, what we've said is that if the force over here is 50 newtons, it goes all the way through the rope. And so we can also say that the force in that rope over there is 50 newtons. All right, so there's our simplified diagram. We no longer need this messy diagram and so what we need to do now is take this and use a ruler and protractor and use a do a construction like a head to tail construction so once again we need a scale now i don't know about you but my paper is not going to allow me to use 50 centimeters so 25 is even going to be a bit of a squeeze but i think if we say one centimeter is five newtons that'll be quite nice because then we'll have to draw a 10 centimeter line i wouldn't go one centimeter is 10 newtons because then your diagram is going to start becoming very small and that's when it becomes inaccurate this is going to be a 10 centimeter line so we need to have a starting point so i'm going to start over here and i'm going to get my protractor and measure 24 degrees there we go and then i measure 24 which is probably over there and then I need my good old ruler, and then I can draw my 10 centimeter line. Now my 10 centimeters might not look the same as yours because I'm using a digital ruler, but at the end, the answers are all gonna be the same. So there's my first 10 centimeter line. Why 10 centimeters? Because we said that one centimeter is five newtons, and so 50 newtons must be 10 centimeters. Now, we move on to our next force. Now you can choose whatever you like. If you would like to use W3, that's fine. I'm gonna choose W2. So W2 is at 50 degrees. Now what some students do, actually a lot of my students do, do this. They put their protractor like this, and then they try and measure 50 degrees like that. You see, they're trying to measure 50 degrees relative to W1, but that's not what we're doing here. This 50 degrees is measured relative to a horizontal line. So there's where I put my protractor horizontally and I measure 50 degrees from there. So I can see it's 50 degrees up like that. So I measure up 50 degrees to there. Now you may be sitting at home and thinking, okay, cool, it's 50 degrees, I understand, but I don't know how long that line is. So guys, what you do is the following. You must remember, that we are busy with an object that is in equilibrium. And what we also know is that after we do W2, what are we gonna do last? Well, after, well for the last one, it's gonna be W3, and W3 goes down. And we know that it must end off over here. So it means that W2 is probably gonna go up, 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 like that, up to about there, so that when you connect it, it goes down. You see, so you don't need to know how long it must be. If you understand that it must complete the triangle and that W3 is gonna go down, then it's easy to find out what W2 must do. So I take my ruler and I just draw a line, but don't worry, whoa, that's the wrong button. And then don't worry exactly how long it must be, just make sure that it goes long enough like that. And then I would put my ruler like that, so we know that gravity acts down, so that's W3. 
and so it would have to go something like that. You see, so now I know that W2 will only go up to this point, and then W3 will be that one. So now what I do is I just take my ruler and I go measure those lengths. And what I get, and you might get a slightly different answer based on the accuracy, is that W2 is about 14 centimeters. But now remember, that's not the answer. It's not 14 newtons, because one centimeter is five newtons. So I'm going to multiply that by five and end up with 70 newtons. Then W3 is about 15 centimeters. And then if you multiply that by five, you get 75 newtons.